Hi everyone, it's Marina, the Beauty BFF. I'm going to share with you how to create glossy hair by using a semi-permanent and a demi-permanent. Now I have here the Kristen S Hair Signature Gloss in Crystal Quartz uh, Demi-Permanent and the DP Hue Gloss Plus Sheer and this is a semi-permanent. These also come in different colors, but both of these are clear, so they are great for any hair colors. Now, the uh, Kristen S Hair Signature Gloss is a demi-permanent, so meaning that it is going to open up your hair cuticle to help deposit any of the color or the product in your hair. So it does create a slight chemical change in your hair, but it is not going to make your hair lighter. Okay, it can make your hair darker if you are using a darker hair color. Since this is clear, it will not change the tone of your hair. So you have the activator here and the gloss here and you have to mix these two together for it to activate, okay? So it does make a chemical change in your hair with the DP Hue. It is a semi-permanent, meaning that it is only to basically coat the top layer of your hair. So it's going to only coat the cuticle of the hair and it will not do any chemical change or anything like that. It's just going to sit right on top. And like I said, both of these are clear, so they're going to give you a lot of shine. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the demi-permanent on my left side here and then the semi-permanent on my right side and you will see how much shine I will get. Now with these two items, they do process for 20 minutes each. What you will need to do is shampoo your hair. Now you want to make sure that you're applying these two products on clean, damp hair. And make sure that the hair is not super wet, so just use a towel like this and just, you know, towel dry it and make sure that it's just like a little damp. You don't need to shampoo your hair for the demi-permanent, but you want to make sure that your hair is clean because if it's not clean, the product is not going to penetrate in your hair. What you'll need is a comb and some plastic clips. The Kristen S Hair Gloss comes with some gloves, so, you know, make sure to use the gloves in your hands. So let's go ahead and start. And I'm going to use this towel to wrap around. You do not want to ruin your clothes, so make sure that you use a towel and a clip to clip it together. So I already shampooed my hair. I did not condition it. Make sure you do not condition it. Just shampoo it. And if your hair gets tangly, make sure to, you know, brush it before you shampoo it. Now you want to take one of the clips here and section the top. Now it does not have to be perfect. I like to clip it in little twisties. Now I'm going to start with the uh, Kristen S Signature Gloss. I'm going to take this off first. Ooh, yeah, see that just um, squirted everywhere. So make sure you take that off first and open it and then put the gloss in it and the activator. Okay, so make sure you mix it well, but don't shake it super fast because it will squirt, okay? So just be careful. Make sure that if you are doing a um, demi-permanent to actually test it on your skin to see if you are allergic to it. Some people will be allergic to some of the ingredients that are in it. I'm going to use this tip here and make sure to wipe your gloves. Okay, this is going to get really messy. So I like to apply it on the roots first, okay? Make sure to get your back area and then apply it from the mid shaft to the ends here. You can use your comb to comb it in to even out the distribution. Now I'm going to move on to the top. 
And this does not have to be perfect because I'm going to take this whole area and mush it like I would with a shampoo. So make sure to get your base here, the roots. And when I say the base, I'm talking about the roots, okay? Take your fingers and mush it all together. Okay, if you have a lot of hair, you might need two or three of these. But since I'm only using it for half of my head, this will actually be enough for me. a little twisty okay I'm going to rinse my gloves and then I'm going to apply the DP hue gloss plus so with the uh, DP hue gloss plus you just apply it straight on the hair you do not have to mix it since it is a semi permanent and it's basically just like a super glossy conditioner And you would apply this like you would like a conditioner or a shampoo. I mean, you can be really precise with this if you like, but it's clear. It doesn't really matter. And then use your comb to help distribute the product. All right, and clip it in place and wait 20 minutes and then rinse it off really well. I would say rinse it for like a good five minutes and then condition it and style it as usual. Okay, so this is the finished look. Super shiny. I blow dried it with no product in there. And then I used a straightener to um, smooth it out a little bit. And on this side was the Kristen S signature gloss in rose quartz and this was the dp hue gloss plus sheer and with these i feel like i'm getting a lot more shine with the uh, kristen s signature gloss and i'm getting a lot more like moisture from the dp hue gloss plus sheer just keep in mind that they are two different products. I just wanted to show you what both did to my hair. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I'll catch you next time.